o'clock in the morning and I'm naked in Kyrgyzstan. You might ask, Kyle, why are you up so early? Well, it's because I gotta cross this river and it's the lowest time during the morning. So I'm naked and here we go. This is river crossing in Kyrgyzstan. <clears throat> How did I get here? <laughs> oh man, you won't even believe me. I'm not even sure I believe it myself. This is full on adventuring, and I am loving it. Two roads diverged, and well, I took the one less traveled. If something shitty happens, um, I love you all. I chose a bike instead of a partner, the road instead of a base camp. I chose Kyrgyzstan. It's intriguing network of old Soviet roads and endless peaks. I had no expectations other than what the guidebook said. The Kyrgyzstan, the Switzerland of Central Asia. Those are the facts. And the rest? Well, the rest is just wild memory, product with no blueprint. Alright, welcome to Kyrgyzstan. We have arrived. I have got the rig all set up. It's super wobbly and heavy and weird. <laughs> but uh, about to go get lost in Bishkek, so here we go. Ooh! About to pass my first cyclist. He's pretty competitive though. He's got a matching jersey. Pretty sick bike. Hello! <laughs> yeah, he was pretty serious. I passed him though. He's gone. Oh, the key to slowing it down. Bicycle and climbing gear. There are people walking faster than I am riding. <laughs> Just looking at the Ala Archa Mountains off in the distance here. First range I'm gonna check out. So stoked. <laughs> so stoked. <sighs> and I need some sleep. <laughs> I'm stoked. No. What is this place? Yeah. I don't know. No Russian. Akuda? From the bike, I have an incredible perch. As lofty as any summit from which to see this strange and wonderful place. You guys will maybe end up on the internet. Other times, it can feel like I'm riding a moving bar stool. So toast to my friends, new friends, to love, respect, and adventure. To business and sex. <laughs> I'm a little drunk, I won't lie. <laughs> uh, a la Archa, what a trip. <laughs> Good morning. This is uh, day three. There are gnats feasting at my face. And I'm currently working on this monster hill in granny gear, of course. Loving it. The Neil Young is certainly helping, but the gnats. I should have brought a flamethrower. We use the word suffering way too much. I have royally got my ass kicked today. Every adventure has both the light, the dark, the toil, and the reward. Look at this place, it's incredible. To experience that alone is to become absorbed by an activity, by a place, and by its people. Cheers. Nice bike. Nice, nice bike. Switch? <laughs> Maybe no. <laughs> the wall of daily noise, the modern trappings that define our identities, finally give way. 
You no longer know where you end and where the world begins. We become raw. Definitely got to thank the Pantera that is just pumping through my headphones right now. He's a wacko. This is why we take the trip. This is what we've come for. <laughs> this descent feels like I'm cycling off the end of the earth going down and down and down on this lonely road. Super cool. Definitely feeling out there. Pretty slow going here. Some locals. I don't know if this road gets cycled a whole lot. Even the horses stop and check out what I'm doing. All right, I just saw my first uh, dude in three days. Very nice. Uh, the lone rider out there, he hooked me up with a SIG. So I'm horking this thing down. <clears throat> Yummy. Ooh. I think during the time when they built these roads, everybody must have driven tanks. Because the grade is like ridiculous. All right, it's official. I think this is the signal of the unimproved road. Even the cigarettes and vodka have given away to decay. Homes vacant, towns forgotten, mines abandoned after the collapse of the Soviet Union. When empires collapse, they leave Five-star mountain hotels in their wake. Yet the road keeps going. A shortcut through an otherwise blank section of map. All of these houses are just abandoned. Nobody living there. Crazy. Past the odd military checkpoint or family carving a living from these hills. Even those reminders of civilization begin to disappear. Sort of eerie. Just this old graveyard out in the middle of nowhere. I guess old workers, old Soviet workers. Pretty wild, dude. This landscape has begun to reclaim the decay. There it is, the end of the good stuff. Coming down here, down the angle check. Wow. Just the poo. Right there. There's the transition. <clears throat> Making our way to our food cache, which I don't know how far is uh, down this way. This road has like an eerie feel to it. Really beautiful, really surreal, crazy place. Today's goal is trying to figure out a way to cross the Great Chocolate Milk River. Hopefully we're going to find some bridges, hopefully, because that's the only way it's happening. And I was told there was a bridge out here somewhere, but no way. I don't see anything. It's not looking so passable. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're going to cruise down a little further. Just to be optimistic, but if we don't find anything, we'll have to go back. And maybe above the Enelchek River, we can 
try and find something that goes across, I don't know. But there's no way that this is being crossed. <coughs> well, I'm drunk, which I'm not all that psyched on. <coughs> Just dealt with my first military corruption, lameness. Dom, Vodko! Vodko! Sia America! Oh. <coughs> God totally wouldn't accept my papers and wouldn't let me cross into the side of the river that I want to go. Ti, what is it? Ti, what is it? What is it? <laughs> no, 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 and uh, it leads to this. Suck on that, military bitches. Oh yeah. Glad to be done with military checkpoints for a little while. And here's a shot of the road ahead. Boom. The road became worse. Pavement to gravel. And then it just ended. Not the right way. I'd come looking for a line on a map. Instead, I just found this giant blank spot. Karasai? Karasai? Naren? I decided to keep pedaling. God damn, I ain't saying it's easy, but man, it sure is rewarding. Look at this place. So beautiful. 360 degrees of rad. Alas, we have come to a fork in the mountains. Uh. Got the Inilchek River going into the Sari Jazz and the Uchkul coming down this valley here. I have been going down Inglecheck. There's no way across the Uchkul River. And it doesn't look like the road is very good on the other side. So we're gonna take a gamble. We're gonna go up the Uchkul. For right now, there is at least partially a road. There are two choices in life. The known and the unknown. Maybe it was the fact I'd come this far. Or maybe it was the vodka and fermented mare's milk. Or maybe it was something else. But I chose the unknown path. Not psyched. Um, I'm actually pretty fucking scared. As I was rigging up the rope on the other side of the river to come back across and get my stuff, just I noticed that my stuff was kind of seemed like it was getting pretty close to the water, and I looked over and it was in the water. And basically, the river just started rising so fast that it was starting to take away my stuff and I didn't even think I just like jumped in and in like a gnarly place and just swam for my life to get across to it I'm scared and I'm like way out here 
not sweet, dude. I hate rivers. Hate water. Should not have come this way, that's for sure. Take your clothes and lay them out. For seven days, I didn't see anyone. The road behind me closed. There was only forward. Roadhead, a little concerning, but we'll make it happen. It'll be okay. I'm confident. I hope. Getting ready to watch the sky turn colors and do cool stuff. It's been stressful the last couple days, but I think we're in the clear. I hate to do this to everyone, but today I have to cross this river and I'm not all that excited about it. I'm pretty scared. Um, but I've gotten myself into a situation where I have to and um, yeah, I'm pretty scared. So I just want to let everyone know that if something shitty happens, um, I love you all an incredible amount. I want you to know that if I die, I was definitely doing something that I am totally, totally psyched on and I'm loving life for sure right now. Um, fear is an okay emotion and I have a lot of it. I'm just acknowledging it and that's why I'm doing this. But mom, I love you. Thank you so much for a wonderful life. Dad, thank you. You've been an inspiration. Molly. I love you so much. It's been so much fun being your brother. Thank you for being my sister. You're the best. And Jewel, I love you. I love you so much. Um, I'm sorry that it ended this way. Um, and all things water. I hate this stuff. But I just want to let you all know that I love you. And thank you very much. Take your clothes and sunk 
weekend and I am running out of time. Decided to head south to the Cockshaw 2. Big first ascent still on some climbed peaks. Let's see what we can do for the last 10 days or 11 or 12 days or so. Oh my god, I found some snow! Woo! Intimidating, ain't it? All right, shortly before five. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna give it a go here. We are psyched! All right, getting up here pretty quickly. Got a little bit of a crux section here, a little steep section. And uh, we're soaked. Very happy. my family, my friends, yeah, and this just feels damn good. <laughs> yeah, stoked. Here are the facts. I chose a bike instead of a partner. I chose the road over a base camp. And that's what made all the difference. I'm having a good time. Uh, I definitely feel like I'm exploring um, the world. And that's a great thing. <laughs> now here's what I believe. Real adventure is not polished. It's not the result of some marketing budget. There's no hashtag for it. It burns brightest on the map's edges, but it exists in all of us. It exists at the intersection of imagination and the ridiculous. You have to have faith. It will find you there. And when it does, Remember, there's just one question. In this life, when the road comes to an end, will you keep pedaling?